I've spoken before in a previous video about the benefits of a compact bullying and therefore a compact carving pattern. Hopefully I've persuaded you that a 95% in-calf rate over nine weeks is preferable even to a 100% in-calf rate over nine months. For those of you who haven't seen the video, the link is in the video description. By all means, go and have a watch of that video after this. Today, I'm going to talk about going even further. Plenty of our clients follow the industry advice and that is to make their heifers for only the first six weeks of the mating period. Now, given that the Easter cycle of cattle is 21 days in length, so three weeks, by mating them for six weeks, you only give them two short windows in which to get in calf. Why would you limit it to that? Actually, there are several good reasons. The first is that heifers often turn out to be the most fertile animals on the farm. Just ask someone who's accidentally calved some at 14 or 15 months old. There's no shortage of fertility there. Yes, they do have nutritional demands because they're still growing, but actually they're not having to rear a calf and their reproductive tract is not having to recover from growing and delivering that calf a short while before. So assuming they're being fed enough, they are set up to win. Reason number two is that in our experience, if farmers have one age group they struggle to get rebreeding successfully, it is the first calvers. And by that I mean heifers which have had their first calf and are hopefully conceiving their second. That's because there's a much greater challenge on them. There's still a little bit of growth. They're having to rear that first calf. They're joining the cow herd to this social change. And of course the reproductive tract is having to recover from that first calf as well. The more time we can give them to recover so they can get back in calf successfully, the better. And so by carving heifers only in that first six weeks, we give them the maximum amount of time to recover and get back in calf. That should improve pregnancy rates in that slightly awkward first carver age group. And looking to the slightly longer term, we have reason number three, and that is by only giving heifers two attempts to get in calf and culling anything that's not in calf, you are applying some really good selection pressure. Retaining these heifers that get in calf in the first two, and ideally the first cycle, you are only retaining the very best heifers. This is especially important if you are breeding your own replacements, but even if you're not, you're still culling the least fertile heifers out so they don't progress onto your cow herd and become empty cows later down the line. And if you're selling replacements, I think it is a fantastic selling point to have. And we know fertility is king or maybe queen for suckler herds. Far more important than growth, far more important than confirmation. So something to consider for your next mating, bullying, joining period, whatever you call it. If you want some more information, I've put a heap of links in the video description. And of course, you can always go and have a chat with your vet. If you enjoyed that and you haven't already, don't be afraid to click subscribe, ring the little bell next to it so you get updates about new videos. Give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Otherwise, I will see you for the next video.